Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. Uh, this is the second video of the telemetry series. In this video, we are going to do uh, some practical demos. Uh, so for the first thing I would like to show you is how to enable NetConf um, on Cisco devices so that you can configure or manipulate uh, configuration using NetConf for Cisco, various Cisco devices. So Cisco has uh, three main flavors as of now, Cisco IOS XR, uh, mostly for service provider um, grade routers. IOS XE is uh, de facto for enterprises. IOS, Cisco IOS is going to transition towards IOS XE, so you will see more and more enterprise grade router hmm, running on Cisco IOS XE platform. And then for data center, we have an XOS. So these are the few commands to enable uh, NetConf on a um, Cisco router. The first thing you can see, enabling NetConf and Yang on XR platform. XR platform is a modularized uh, iOS uh, XR. So basically you need to have SSH enabled and then you enable your NetConf Yang agent and SSH. Pretty straightforward. For iOS XE, uh, there are certain things which differ from iOS XE to iOS XR and um, mostly around authentication and authorization. So when you are you enabling NetConf on iOS XE, you need to enable authorization, uh, um, must have an authorization enabled. So you can see that I'm enabling NetConf Yang and also I'm uh, describing why these commands are used. So this is used to enable NetConf and Yang globally. Uh, then you have you must have username password uh, a username with privilege level 15 uh, defined uh, then configure your triple a uh, domain triple a new model and you must have triple a authorization uh, configured there are few things uh, which you can configure on around snmp so it does need a snmp community defined with a rwx read write access and uh, SNMP trap link uh, IETF these uh, SNMP traps must be enabled F at 16.3.1 right now for syslog there are some limitation that you to generate netconf notification you must have this SNMP traps uh, enabled uh, one trap is for link down link up and syslog generation also at the same time you can see a uh, logging history debugging this command is required to generation of any not, uh, netconf notification message for syslog. So when, once there is a syslog, uh, at the same time, um, uh, there is a not, netconf notification for that syslog message. So you need to enable that logging level. And then uh, verifying netconf, I'm using a 4300 device here but it can be supported over any iOS XC device, uh, maybe a Cat 9K, ISR, or in this case, 3850. So once you configure this, you can check whether your Yang services or NetCon services is running properly by using the command show platform software Yang management processes. Um, how you can verify? You can verify by uh, establishing a SSH uh, NetCon session with the target device and in turn you should see uh, hello from uh, device so now let's go and configure this on the device uh, router itself so you can see that i am logged into one of uh, my uh, lab device uh, which is a isr 4331 running 1611 so this is the software level and uh, I have security K9, uh, other things en enable. Config wise, I would like to show you AAA config. So I have enable authorization, show run ISSH. SSH is, since I've logged into using SSH session, that means SSH is enabled and um, then uh, netconf let me see 
net config should be there So let me initialize netconf. Uh, but if you want to see the complete command, uh, I have it captured here. So go ahead, pause this, and then you can take a screenshot. I'm going to enable netconf. Let's see if my netconf is running now. Yes, perfect. So all the netconf commands are running. Let me go ahead and try to SSH. So this is my local machine and I can ping the router. And now let me go ahead and SSH to it. SSH. Uh, This is the regular SSH, but I'm going to define the port number 830. Netconf uses this port by default. 